Welcome everyone, Adam DeWu here as the recording of this Thursday, October 14th, 2021, starting here on Market Street in downtown Celebration. And I will be going to a destination that is about 54, 55 miles from this point through the Florida back roads by the name of Rich Loam General Store. A place I've been wanting to go to for a while. It is an old timey establishment that harkens back to a, a, an earlier era when times were a little simpler. And to get there, kind of makes sense to take the off the beaten path thoroughfares. So I'm gonna head there, hit some of the small towns here in Central Florida, and then head back. It should be quite an exciting day. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Now I've been heading down Highway 33 towards Groveland, and I pulled off, off the side of the, the small road here this little restaurant and I'm not gonna stop and go in but I wanted to show this old coca-cola signage this restaurant called the Red Wing Red Wing restaurant I was like a little old-school paraphernalia up on the side of the wall there drink coca-cola enjoy that refreshing new feeling and located behind the diner is this barn and a very unique looking tree and some animals they drew my attention in, so I decided to walk back here. There's some pigs off behind that fence line. Yeah, look at these, these pot belly pigs over here. Oh, there's quite a few pigs. One of the pigs has escaped. Hello, piggy. Oh. A lot of pigs. Must be a hole in the fence because quite a few. It's like a family of these pigs. A couple of them outside the, the fence here. A couple of the adults wading in the mud over there. And if you look off in the distance next to that signage, a couple other little, a couple other little smaller ones. And as a truck goes by very quickly, I want to introduce World of Micahs with me today, kind of tagging along. Made a friend here. Made a friend? Yeah. Likes being petted. He does. He oh, there's right a group of me. motorcycles going. I thought it was a train, but it's oh. a group of motorcycles going by. My buddy. It's like a cavalcade of motorcycles. Might be going to Biketoberfest. Oh yeah, Biketoberfest is starting in Daytona. Drinking a little water. Very peaceful out here, that's for sure. The small community of Groveland downtown, right over that direction. But I wanted to show this relic, this amazing structure here. Florida Select Citrus Incorporated. Still have the sign out front. It says, sound horn if the guard is not present. The guard is not present because this place is no longer open. Speed limit 10 miles per hour. This is a this is a throwback to the past. That is for sure. There's a whole lot of corn. That truck's like hauling corn right there. A lot of bushels of corn. This place is awesome. Billy's Meat Market. The shopping carts out front, a little grocery store. Now 
Now I just passed one old timey fire truck, but there's another one next to this dragon's head. Take a look. The East District Fire Department has a little, little memento of their past out in front here. And it appears as if the dragon has a taste for, for a keg of, of brew. Yeah, look at this dragon head. This is some sort of vintage store. So it has the Texco Food Mart signage up top, a Phillips 76 gas station signage over there as well, railroad crossing. I even see a wooden torso of Superman over here against the side as well. You know, probably back in the day, this is probably at another, another place where you could stand behind and put yourself, you know, have your head pop out of Superman's head as well. There's a little stop, stop, stop sign there. Not a stop sign, but a stop light right there. It says, come in y'all, but the place is not open. Gotta love signage from, from the good old days. It's like it says kerosene. It's a cheerleader. You can put your head through the cheerleader's face as well. Dr. Pepper. This is, what is this? This is like a, a space pod helmet as well right there. Ooh, bat crossing going down here. This is just a real treasure trove. Wow, look at this. Look at this advertisement up here. A little, little Michelob beach party, beach ball party there. A volleyball, that's, that's the word I'm looking for, volleyball. And then up top here above the door as you walk in. And it does say closed right here. It says, we'll return at a certain time. I don't believe that's today though. It doesn't appear to be open. I'll be curious to see how much these weigh. You could just do the reading right there. So that weighs 970 pounds? I guess, I guess so. <laughs> I don't know if that's correct. I don't know if that's correct either. They're about to, they're about to duke it out. Yeah, this is a pretty neat little stop off. Wasn't, you know, the best thing about some of these back road endeavors is you never really know what you're gonna find as you go past them. Like this right here. I had no idea I was gonna be seeing this today. It is called an ergo bath, a professional ergo bath. It's like a, it's like a space pod, a futuristic space pod and there's a gentleman there with a beard a very decent size impressive beard in the ergo bath machine looks kind of like almost like a casket now the business that is adjacent is called the sweet nothing marketplace i don't think i've ever seen a vehicle that looks quite like this before this is a very unique vehicle to say the least and they do sell items here they sell sod and grass and maybe some feed for animals and whatnot. This is a US mail box from back in the day, kind of rusted out. Amazing what you find when you're just traversing the back roads. You see this store is open. The name of this town is either Moscote or Moscote. M-A-S-C-O-T-E. Says it right there on the side. Here's a tractor. Oh, there's a crocodile down here. This gentleman up here, carved out of wood, is holding a, holding a, a I don't know what he's got. Moonshine? Definitely worth stopping off. Passed by, had to do a little U-turn, turn around, parked my car. Just had to show this. This is the kind of stuff I really love. Up oh, there's another advertisement, Coca-Cola advertisement. And look back in the back, there's another fire. There are fire engines aplenty around these parts. I believe this whole property is owned by Sweet Nothing's Marketplace. Antiques, home decor, and more. Right there. You can even get some of these for the yard if you so choose. All right, gonna move on, carrying on. On the way to, the, to Richlow.
right there on that awning it says and meats so they obviously had other supplies but then and meats right there on that wooden sign that's kind of falling over on the awning now over this fence line just past that berm of dirt you see a lot of trees here a lot of chopped down trees like thousands of them a lot of logging in this area And always like to say hello to the farm animals. More cows over there and some foul birds making friends with the cows. This is the real Florida right here. And even though the highway wasn't too busy, I much prefer roads like this that are a lot less traveled. This is next to some murky waters here. Look over there. Check out all that murkiness. Swampy goodness down in there. I have arrived at the Rich Loam General Store. Used to be a post office back in the day as well. Rich Loam General Store and Post Office. In 1921, the Atlantic Coast Line Railroad decided to relocate the depot to Rich Loam. Soon after, in 22, the postmaster created this general store. And it was placed on the National Regi uh, Register of Historic Places in 2017 and is the only remaining building from the Rich Loam community that still exists. All the info can be seen here. Uh, oh, man. Yeah? This coffee crunch, whatever I ordered, is really good. It doesn't have an overpowering coffee taste, but it tastes like a muffle. Hey. Okay, made it inside. I kind of figured they would have moon pie. They also have the old fashioned hard candy licorice as well, and a lot of canned goods over here. As far as mild chow chow, they have mild chow chow, sauerkraut some jalapenos, metal, easy to play metal slide, as well as a jaw harp and a harmonica. Check it out, tiddledy winks. They have tiddledy winks. Now I've seen this, they sell this at Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I've seen this, this little elephant, the metal elephant here. And actually, you know what? I have one of these as well, one of these sparkling mics right here. I believe I got it in Pigeon Forge at an old timey store there. You got the Lincoln Logs? No, not Lincoln Logs, that's a different name. I used to have Lincoln Logs when I was a youth. Oh yeah, the duck on a bike, right there. I had that, my friend Natalie bought that one for me. Right there from, from Universal. Yeah, I, I own this. And I believe this is some sort of a, like a gourd right there with a top on it. You could store items inside of it. And there's some apple butter. Got some coffee in the barrel here and boiled peanuts, Cajun boiled peanuts over here. Oh, and there's some canteens. Now, this is a coffee grinder here, Enterprise MFG Company out of Philadelphia. So you can grind your own coffee right inside there. That's pretty neat. And they got the, the hard candies over here behind the counter also. And an assortment of beverages. And little guitars up top. This is pretty, this place is pretty, pretty neat. I've been wanting to stop off here for a while. Just never made the trek over to this area. I gotta say, that is, yeah, that is very spiffy. I've never had a spiffy cola before. Okay, now here is the post office, right? Here's the old post office area that they used to have at the at the spot right here. You can see the, how you go up here, slide your letters through there, talk to the postmaster through this little window here as well. And here's some of the, how the mail was kind of stored off to the side. If you uh, check your number and you could get you could get your local mail. No, it's definitely an acquired taste, but I enjoy pork. Are these pork rinds? I was gonna say, oh, they are pork rinds, yeah. Definitely an acquired taste. Salt and vinegar pork rinds. But I do love some pork rinds. You know, I think I'm gonna 
think I'm gonna add this to what I'm, one of the items I'm gonna buy. You can even purchase some country ham here. A little smoked dinner steaks, country ham, applewood smoked bacon, and very decorative gifts if you would like to get something. Oh, even some cheese. Some sharp cheddar. That's a block of cheese. Right there, and even some beef sticks. Next to there, mild pickled okra. You know, I'm also gonna get, I'm also gonna get, I'm gonna get a mild pickled okra. I'm gonna get one of these too. I'm gonna spend a little money here. They were just saying that up here were some of the items that were found in the original store before they kind of renovated it. All of these items, the castor oil, the peppermint e extract, Phillips Milk of Magnesia, and Dr. Lane's mineral oil. And then look up here, look at these all items right up here. Yeah, look at this. Poultry prescription and transmission oil as it goes all around here. They're explaining to Micah all the stuff that's original through here. And there's some writing on the wall here next to the phone that's been scribbled so that they can remember, they can know who to call on the telephone. And the lantern here on this end is original as well as the fireplace down here too. So this is what it looked like back in the mm -hmm. day. What year was this? 1940? Mm -hmm. 1940 photograph. You can even get a skillet here to cook, do a little cooking on. You know, stove, stove accessories and whatnot, the smaller skillets and the bigger skillets and pots and pans. And a, a big gem sack of Idaho potatoes. And above that, you can also get ice cream. Yeah, little scoops of ice cream if you so choose. And if you look over here, you can see here they got, your, this home is for Hoover. Keeping cool with Coolidge. Hoover, Herbert Hoover is the heart of all of us. And of course, some Roosevelt signage as well as yeah, FDR up there as well, and Marita Bread Company. Yeah, they really did, they really kind of went all out with the theming of this place. Also got pickup sticks and some jacks over here. Jolly's Jacks. And pecan logs. Oh. You got a pecan log, right? Yeah. You got well, a, yeah. Peanut log. Peanut log. Peanut, yep. peanut log. Yeah, they do have a pecan log though. Wow. Too. Go with the peanut log. I've got a couple things. I'm gonna grab a few more items. Yeah here as well and I'm purchasing this Dr. Pepper here and this is the original oh, right here opening it on the original opener this reminds me of going to my grandma's and, and my grandpa worked for the coca-cola company and they had one of these on their kitchen counter and there's some shoe oil over there she was just saying the snuff right there is still a full the rainbow free sample yeah free sample rainbow sweet snuff also there's some Bob White items up here. I don't even think Bob White is a company in Florida anymore that did canned goods from back in the day. All right, got my items that I purchased and now I'm gonna head back out here. Love the sound of the door. Pretty dang neat. Yeah, man. From the 1920s in the same spot as it always was. The photo I showed inside documents the fact that adjacent to this used to be the train station around the side over here. Putting the depot for the train station right back there. The train station has been removed, but if you follow this road here, that's where the train tracks used to be. Be pretty neat if the tracks still existed. However, it has, they've been not paved over, but torn up. This is where the railroad would have gone down. This dirt path is where the old railroad tracks were, adjacent to the Rich Loam store. That still exists, but the tracks are gone. Did you get a beverage also, or just the, just the pecan log, or peanut log? Yeah, I got a root beer. We're drinking root beer now. Yeah. Sarsaparilla, oh, it's called, not called sarsaparilla, little carousel of progress nod. We're drinking root beer. <laughs> you ever go to a place and you say, do you have Dr. Pepper? And they go, no, we have root beer. Dr. Pepper's not root beer. No, it's not. I think Mr. Pibb is probably the closest thing to Dr. Pepper, even though it's a little different too, and now it's called Pibb Extra. This is the same formula, it's just in a unique bottle. Dude, this peanut log is good. You like it? Yeah, there's like nougat or something in the middle, and then caramel. Caramel, or caramel. And we said on the weekends, on Saturdays, there will be someone sitting where you are, playing the guitar. Pretty cool. And there is a dragonfly right here on this top of this. Little dragonfly there. I'm just gonna get up close to you, dragonfly. And if you ride your horse in, you are not allowed to park here with your horse. No, no horse parking. 
whatsoever, no horse parking at all. Definitely worth stopping off here. It's a little bit of a hike from, you know, other areas, maybe an hour from the theme parks and whatnot, but you really get into the real Florida and a general store that has stood the test of time, nearly a hundred years old. Think about that. Think about it. Now, a moment ago, I said the tracks were kind of over there near that fence line, but part of me thinks they were possibly right here. So this runs parallel to the other kind of dirt section that's straight behind me. It's kind of up. Yeah, it is kind of elevated a little bit, so they probably tore them out, but these pine trees have grown over. It's tough to tell. Yeah. And in the grand scheme of things, there probably are no tracks remaining anymore. So it really doesn't matter all that much. Yeah, I'm gonna say it was right through where these pine trees are. That was, that was almost 100 years ago. Because it does kind of veer off. So it could have been right here. Could have gone along this area. It's in the photo. Yeah, it probably was right about there. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by the olden days. In January of 28, the store was robbed and burnt, likely from arson, but was rebuilt soon after in February at the same year. The store and post office continued to operate until late 30s when the Great Depression forced the ACL to close the depot. In 36, Brinson closed the store and post office and relocated to Sarasota, rented the building to a residence to the Mills family until the 50s. After sitting vacant till 73, his nephew, John, acquired the property, and the rest is history. It reopened in 2016. Any place that has rocking chairs, a nice vibe, is not blaring top 40 music, <laughs> has my vote to visit. Yes. I wonder if that's the original sign right there. It's a possibility. It looks like it even has a couple of little, little uh, those who are up to oh, yeah. taking a little practice there. Yeah. <laughs> it might be. It could this, be. This could have been from the train depot. Yeah. Well, the sign oh, states that is. this is the last relic of Richlow. And one of my favorite beverages, also Mountain Dew, their slogan used to be, it'll tickle your innards. True story. All right, I'm gonna move on, see what else I can find and then taking the route back. Maybe try to even take a couple of different, some different roads back towards Celebration. Kind of do a grand circle tour almost. Yeah, this is cool. The Rich Loam General Store and Post Office. And if you're looking for cross streets and you would like to pay this place a visit, Riverland Road and Rich Loam Clay Sink Road are the coordinates next to all the murky water there. And now over to Webster, where there's a big chicken, a very big chicken, or is it a rooster? It's one of those. And even though this is all fenced off, a lot of old good signage here, including Diet Right Cola, Mr. Goodwrench works here, Montgomery Ward. Got the fuel pumps out front. Even an old phone booth. Something Superman would change from Clark Kent into. first over walked over this way I saw the golden arches and got excited little did I know that an incredible amount of fast food establishments are documented here look at that deep road fast food row DQ KFC 
Well, I guess just two. Two just fast two. foods and a lot of gas stations. But that's awesome. Look at that. Never know what you're going to find driving around. Is there more around here? Oh, sure is. Yeah. A little BK right there on the side. Now this looks like it could have either been a gas station or maybe a, an ice cream stand at one point. Kind of like maybe a Dairy Queen or an off-brand an off, an off -brand Dairy Queen. That's a relic right there. I'm really liking the artwork here on the side of this. I guess it's like a, like a bar of some sort, jukebox. And there's also a classic car directly in front of me. Classic car alert. This is Webster, you can see the Webster water tower peeking up there over the tree line. Pulled over to this area, it's a flea market now. The flea market's not open today, obviously. But it's in the, the spot where an old drive-in movie theater used to be. And the projection house and snack bar still exist right there. The current flea market is on the other side. The screen is gone, but all the cars would have been here. And right about over there where that little trailer is, it's probably where the screen used to be back in the day. That's pretty neat. Back in the when drive-ins were very prevalent. There still are a few around. This one's still here, but not open for movies anymore. Hey, where those round bales are is where the screen would have been. That was a, that was a bad joke, but yeah. And I heard, I've said this joke before many times, but they're thinking... Hey, Micah, do you know they're thinking about outlawing those round bells of hay? Really? Yeah. They're afraid horses and cows aren't getting a good square meal. <sighs> Goodbye, drive-in. Hello, flea market. And decided to stop off for an early dinner late lunch at the base of the Citrus Tower in Claremont, Florida. A place called Uncle Kenny's Barbecue, which I've been to many times. Definitely recommend stopping off and getting a little snack and a bite to eat here. If you've never tried it, it's at the base of the Claremont Citrus Tower. This has been here for quite a while. I think the first time I ate here was probably six or seven years ago, or maybe more. Award-winning BBQ. They have an assortment of different, different items. These are today's specials. Ooh, they have cheese grits. Mm. And these are the hours of operation. And for my main course, I got catfish. I also went with potato salad, fried okra, a little Texas toast over here. Thank you. You're got some tartar sauce on the side. Michael, what'd you got? This is brisket, chopped brisket. Chopped brisket. I'm gonna make a little sandwich on the Texas toast, and beans and the yeah. fries. Nice, and before we had the, the entrees, some appetizers came out. We had some, some mac and cheese, little fried mac and cheese bites. And what was the other item we had besides the mac and cheese? Yeah, pulled pork. Oh, the pulled pork. They are known for their pulled pork egg rolls. They had the pulled pork egg rolls as well. And I got a sweet tea and I was trying some of this mustard BBQ sauce as well, which is pretty so tasty. The chopped brisket, french fries, some beans here. I forgot to show your baked beans. They look good. They're, they're hot. You can see the steam coming off. Yeah. You went with catfish. You know, I could have got, I, I had pulled pork egg rolls, but I went ahead and get with, went with, uh, with, with a fish. This place is award winning. They have the trophies right up here for many years. They have been award winning barbecue in this area. Also at the base of the Citrus Tower. Good to see that this still exists. Oh, over here, if you want a better view of it, that's a little viewfinder. That's a nice touch. And that's going to do it for today.
kind of good to go off some of the back roads, of course, in Claremont. A little more bustling area than some of the other ones I was. I wanted to end with a nice meal from Uncle Kenny's BBQ. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.